I know that 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 Jack Abramoff, I read his wiki, is now mm -hmm. working at Two uh, Toth Pizza in Baltimore, which I've been to. I mean, you know, it sounds like he's back in the community. Oh yeah, like I mean, Mishka Fela. Yeah, yeah, and he did a lot for the Orthodox community. I mean, he gave a lot of charity. He started a yeshiva. Uh, okay, can we talk about the yeshiva for a second? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get my first plug for my nephews here. They both went to that yeshiva, and look how they turned out. They got. They got fucked in the ass. Let me tell you about that yeshiva, okay? Uh -huh. He promised everything, right? He promised everything. I was like, you know, we're gonna have a, a you know, a hockey arena, and we're gonna bring in Wayne Gretzky's gonna teach them all how to play hockey, and we're gonna bring in like the biggest rebellion, you know, and it's like we're gonna do Techiyas Amesim, and Chafetz Chaim is gonna teach a shir in the afternoon, and and it, like all this brochure, which like was unbelievable. Their their proposal for what this was gonna be was like gonna be the they're, they're going to have like you know a skyscraper for the yeshiva. He's going to build this. And you would not believe how much money was going to be synced into this thing, okay? And you know it was all bogus money. Right, it was all right. monopoly money, really, right? Right, right? So, so you know, my nephews went to it, right? Uh, the place folded up because he got investigated and he couldn't spend any more money. The money dried within like a year, right? Yeah. So they went there. My older nephew transferred from uh, TA. He was going to Talmudic Academy, right, which is like the big you know, you should. In Manhattan? Or no, no, Brooklyn? no, no, in, in Baltimore. Baltimore. Oh, okay. It's like the big uh, uh, yeshivish high school, if you will, right? Mm -hmm. You know who You know who was the uh, Rosh Yeshiva there at the time? No. The principal of the school? No. Heshi Teichman, who was teaching, who had previously taught here at Yule, was a friend of mine. Oh. Do you know him? Do you, no, are you no. familiar with him? No. He would have liked you. Okay, so, um, where are we? So, uh, he, he was. My, my nephew transferred for a second two years. So mm -hmm. it means he's got to have to show a diploma. Mm -hmm. If he wants to go to yeshiva, he's got to prove that he went to yeshiva prior to that. If he wants to go to college, he has to show a, a high school diploma. And guess what happens during a senior year at that school? It goes belly up. It goes belly up, and he's not in any school. He's, like, kicked out of high school. He can't get a diploma. He can't show what he's been doing for the last six months. And he is screwed, okay? So don't... T and, and, and here's what else that people don't talk about. His rebellion and all the teachers teaching there, they did not get paid for the last few months of working there. They're never going to see that money. They worked every day and did not get paid. This is a fact. So you know, I don't want to hear how we did great things for Jewish people. It says, Ein mitzvah haba via vera, that you can't do, you can't, that you can't steal money mm -hmm. and use the money uh, for good. If you steal money, like, you can't steal a, 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 a talks about the you can't steal a lulav and esrog and go make a bracha on it. You're not Yotzi. It's not, you can't steal something and make money out of it, you know, and get mitzvahs for it, right? Yeah. He stole this money or whatever, right? And he put it in yeshiva. It doesn't make the, it, that, it, it's not like, in Shemayim, it's not money laundering. It doesn't get cleaned that way. You can't steal money and give it to the yeshiva Right, and you're giving other people's money and get a schar mitzvah for it. Yeah. So he didn't do anything good. He did damage. He did damage. He did damage to 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 to, to the people he screwed over. But he also did damage to the Jewish community because he there's these rebbeim who worked and they didn't get paid. They could have been doing something else during that time. They went there in good faith every day and they never got paid. And and my nephew, his school went belly up in the middle of the senior year. My other nephew, who was younger. He had to transfer to TA for the next two years. And then those poor Indian tribes. I'm kidding. Who cares about the guy, right? But you know what my nephew got out of it, though? Um, a free trip to one of the tri tribal... No, he got... Because Abramoff had all these connections. He had, like, box seats at the Verizon Center in Maryland or whatever. My nephew got free tickets to... Um, he got, he got, he got to He got to sit in the in the... The owners luxury box. He sat in a luxury box for uh, I don't know if it was the Capitals games or whatever, but whoever played there, he got, and he also got free tickets to Dave Matthews Band. Oh, that's not so bad. Personally, from from Abramov. Yeah. 